Hi, welcome to the Fast Track Envision Quick Start. You can access Envision by going to envision.ifasttrack.com in your favorite browser. We also have a Windows desktop client called Fast Track Ultimate. If you'd prefer a desktop experience versus a web experience, you can use that software as well. They have similar functionality and they all access your data. You can log into the application by entering a username and password and clicking login. If you forget your password, you can click the forgot password link and we will send you a temp password that allows you to log in and change it. So let's go ahead and click log in to get started. After log in, you'll see the primary navigation at the top of the page, secondary navigation on the left side of the page, the alerts navigation on the right, and a global search option at the top of the page. Before we go into each one of those navigation options, I want to show you some of the common features within the Fast Track Envision software. Fast Track Envision shows a grid on a variety of different pages, whether it's an employee list, vehicle types list, in this case, a reservation list. On those grids, some of them have expand features where you can actually expand that row and you can see additional information. In this case, for a reservation, we can see reservation in details, additional passengers and stops, segments, and future reservations. Of course, you can always double click on a grid to open up and view or edit that reservation depending on your access. On the right side of the grid, you'll see a columns option. This columns option, if available, will allow you to turn on and off a variety of different columns depending on that data set. So for example, uh, for the reservation form, there's a lot of different columns here. I think it's upward of a, about 100 different columns that you could turn on and off. Most of them are turned off by default because they will um, complicate your grid to show a lot more data, but it's up to you whether you want to show them or hide them. You can search for the columns by typing in information here, and it will actually find that column in the list for you. Now, once you have your order, your sort, uh, the columns you want to show and hide, you can click the column configuration option, and this will allow you to customize and save that column configuration for yourself or even for your team so they can see that with, when they, within that data set within Fast Track and Vision. You can also set that to be the default option that is shown by default after login for that specific grid. For these grids, you'll also notice a three dot menu on the right. This is a menu that is specific actions for that row that you've selected. You'll notice that each row has its own menu. You can also right click on a row and it gives you similar row options, which allows you to take action on that row. And these menu options are specific to the grid and data set that you're viewing. You'll also see this reports icon in various grids, in this case, reservation reports. You can see that there's quotations, confirmations, trip tickets, and so on. You can also send SMS and email, or even send digital sign requests directly from this reports menu. Now, each of these options, depending on what you select, will either show a PDF version of that report or give you additional send options to send those documents external of the system. And once again, these are common features and functionality within the application. Now to go through the primary navigation, we have the home navigation, which gives you access to a variety of different dashboards and metrics. We have the dispatch tab, which you've seen already. This gives you access to all of your reservations within the system. You can use the simple navigation at the top to choose how many days to show of reservations. You can change the date by clicking the calendar control. You can also use the advanced, feature, advanced search feature to do a specific search across all of your reservations. There's a couple different view options here to hide and show, highlight via status and things of that nature. Uh, and most grids also have an export option to export that data out of the grid. Now, generally speaking, if you see a color or if you see an icon, you can always hover over that if there's any question of what that means and it will actually give you a tooltip. So in this case, a yellow highlighting shows that it is marked as special handling, which is an option for a reservation. Moving on to the primary navigation, we have the billing section. The billing tab gives you access to your billing workflow. So this is where you'll finalize jobs, finalize pricing, generate employee pay. You may assemble uh, multiple reservations into a single invoice. On the invoices tab, you can manage invoices and pay them. On the payments tab, you can see payments, deposits, debits, adjustments, all things of that nature. On the aging tab is where you'll actually see by customer or by aging, you can see all of their invoicing list as well as what's outstanding. On the statements tab is where you can actually run statements. They can run automatically based on settings that you can set up in your system. Here you can run them manually and you can see a historical statement list. 
and the accounting section, which gives you just general accounting uh, numbers across your system. The employee pay tab is where employee pay items um, based on employee configuration and placed on, uh, based on the reservation itself that goes through billing will automatically generate employee pay records, which will show up here. So this is where you can keep track of your employee pay. You can run reports to see who's been paid, what they've been paid, what they should be paid, and export them so they can be used in your external uh, payment processing system. The reports tab gives you access to a lot of ad hoc reports. Feel free to go through here and see what they offer, but everything from raw reservation data to tax booking analysis and things of that nature. Those are the primary navigation elements within FastTrack. Over on the left, we have some of the secondary options depending on your access. You can have access to your customer list. So all of your customer profiles will be uh, visual here. You have your corporate profile section. So your corporate billing profiles that manage individual customers. This is where you'll set those up and manage those. The document center is where you can actually choose to send any of those individual documents like confirmations, trip tickets. You can actually go to another level of customization for each one of those documents to hide and show things instead of just leveraging the settings of the profile. Within the operations menu, this is where an operational person can manage vehicle types, employees and affiliates, communications queue, change log and audit, and incident management, operational type of features within the system. You have the charter management section where you can manage multi-leg reservations within a charter, including reports and pricing. You have the calendar section to manage employee availability. This is where an operational a person can see uh, availability, which a, a driver may have entered via the driver app, and they can then use that within a daily or a weekly view to manage their operation. Under the system setup menu, there is a wide variety of options, but this is where you're gonna go first to set up your basic global settings, like you know when to send notifications, what to send in the notifications, things of that nature. Pricing setup to set up pricing vehicle type zones or hourly pricing or even geo pricing. Company setup, if you have one or more companies, you set up the information here. This shows up on reports, uh, various notifications and things of that nature. Users and role management, very important. This is where you set up your users, give them access to various aspects of the system. You can tailor certain people to have access to certain things, including drivers, reservationists, or any role you choose. Uh, customer portal settings. The customer portal is an external application which comes to you with your software where you can have your customers book directly into the fast track software and those will show up in your reservation dispatch list. We have the integrated affiliates and APIs. This is where you'll set up access for GNET, Deem, Carhu, LimaLink, and others, as well as your as, as well as your custom development partners for integrating directly into the fast track software. Um, and then lastly, we have the data list management where you'll set up uh, things like airports and airlines, uh, attachments and things of that nature. We've set up a lot of defaults for you, but you can really customize and tailor the data that's within your application. Uh, we also here on the left navigation give you access to your real-time dispatch dashboard. So if your drivers are using the Fast Track driver app, you'll see their real-time status here and location. Down at the bottom left, we have a platform status that just gives you a link out to all of the different modules within Fast Track Platform just to make sure there's no issues. That's your first stop if you ever have a question or if there's anything not working right to see if there's already a known event. Um, we have the Fast Track Help Center. This is where you'll get access to all your help guides, um, you know, including this video. So you can go there to uh, troubleshoot, look for answers, things of that nature. Um, and of course, your sign out to remove to log out of the system. On the right side, we have the alerts bar. This just gives you some real-time alerts, like uh, this is your, the first one is your internet booking. So any booking that comes in from an electronic affiliate or from your customer portal will show up here and you can take action to confirm them and things of that nature. Uh, system messages sent by fast track administrators will show up here. Also incoming SMS to see when someone replies to your phone number, if you're subscribing to that service will show up here. You can reply directly as well. And the last one is license expiration. So your vehicles and your employee license that you have set up will show here if they are expired. And the last part of the application quick start is the global search. The global search allows you to type anything in there. So for example, I will, example, I will type help and I can see any of the documents that have this help text in them. Uh, so if I'm looking for, you know, change password help, or I'm looking for reservation workflow help or setting up pricing vehicle type zones, I can simply type in uh, a keyword and I'll see all the different help, help uh, results within our help center. And just remember, all of those help guides are available under your help center. 
Well, that is the end of the Fast Track Quick Start. If you have any other questions, I urge you to go to the Fast Track uh, Help Center. Otherwise, you can always send an email into support at fasttrackcloud.com and we'll reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Have a great day.